Hi everyone and welcome back to another Meals of the Week. And if you like these types of videos, I've got a whole playlist and I've linked that down below. Please remember to like and subscribe and so I'll just get on with the meals. For Saturday night's dinner, we had a sort of tapas style meal. So it was some homemade bruschetta. So I just used a garlic bread baguette, topped it with some mozzarella and some tomatoes and then I just popped them in the oven. Along with that, I decided to make some haggis nachos. This is something I've tried in a few restaurants and I thought I would recreate it at home. So it was just so simple. Nachos, cook the haggis in the microwave and mash it all up. Top that on top of the nachos and then top with cheese. And we just had that along with some olives, some cheese and crackers and things like that. And it was a really nice Saturday night dinner. For dinner tonight, um, we are going to be having a chicken roast, um, a roast chicken. So, um, it's obviously roast chicken, broccoli, carrots, diced potatoes with rosemary, um, I think maybe a broccoli cheese, and also I'm going to be making some sausage meat stuffing um, using this sage and onion packet and these pork sausages. So basically all I'm going to do is um, get the meat out of the skins and mix it in with this and then pop it into the oven. Um, so that's one part of the roast, it's a wee bit different, it just tastes amazing and you have like leftovers as well, you can put in like a sandwich or whatever. So yeah, I will just show you some of the process of making the roast and then I'll show you it all plated up. I'm just about to make dinner and it's going to be a tomatoey cheesy pasta dish. I've made this before. It's the sort of oh, someone's causing chaos in the year. Um, it's the one where you mix tomatoes with the kind of soft cheeses, right? So I've got a mixture of this one's like half full. I need to use it up. Um, and this, and I don't have enough of that, so I'm going to add some of that as well. I'm just going to put that into the oven dish with cherry tomatoes and a mix of these seasonings and then I'm just at the same time I'm going to be cooking this pasta and then I'll add it all together and it will be a really easy dinner and I'll just serve it with garlic bread. I'm going to pop this back in for another 10 minutes.
for dinner tonight we're going to have some of these um, Branley apple pork sausages with some mashed veg and gravy so just something quite simple tonight I'll just show you when it's all plated up During the week, me and Eliza had a wee girls day, we went some shopping and we went to TGI's for lunch. For dinner tonight we are having lasagna, so I'm just going to be making a basic um, bolognese sauce, pretty much with mince, mushrooms, one big carrot, a bisto stock cube, tomato puree, some plum tomatoes, and then I'll just simmer that away and just make that as you as normal, just a kind of ragu. And I'm going to be making my own white sauce as well, just with um, butter. Um, I think it's normal just a white sauce you put in lasagna, but I like adding some cheese because cheese just goes to everything. So uh, I make a cheese sauce to go in a lasagna. I just add uh, milk, butter, flour, cheese. And then I'm just going to layer it all and then put it in the oven. And I will show you it when it is all plated up. I'm just trying to get the carrots nice and small so they soften. Um, I'm cooking dinner a wee bit late tonight so I'm trying to cook it really quite quickly. Um, and there's nothing worse than hard carrots. Eliza's away eating all these. <laughs> there you go. She absolutely loves carrots. Um, when we weaned her, we did the baby led weaning. Um, that we mix of both. Um, and honestly, I swear by it, she is a great eater. She eats all her veg before um, anything else on her plate. Um, loves broccoli, loves carrots loves all types of fruit and veg. What's everyone's favourite um, vegetable to cut? Like mine's is mushrooms, um, just because it just glides right through and it's just so easy. <laughs> You've got a favourite vegetable to cut? I know it's really random, but leave it in the comment section. I'd love to hear it.
that's all the layering done. It looks so messy, but the messiest dinners are the tastiest, I think. Um, it just looks so good. Um, we love a cheese sauce through lasagna. I don't think it's a classic way to make it. Um, I'm not really sure, but this is how we make it. So now I'm just going to cover that with foil, cook it in the oven um, on just under 200 for about half an hour, maybe just to let the pasta cook. And then I'm going to take the tin foil off, pop some cheese on the top and then serve it. So there we go. And I'll show you it all plated up. So for dinner tonight, it is, so sorry again about the noise in the background, Jamie's cutting the grass. Um, he's not cut the grass since the last time I filmed a grocery haul, so um, what, about a month or so? And the grass is looking absolutely mental, so um, please forgive me, hopefully you can still hear me. For dinner tonight, it's a wee bit of a random one, I think we're using up a lot of things. Um, so I've got this bolognese um, that was left over, let me move you over here. <laughs> I don't know if you hear me any better here. Right, so it's bolognese that was left over from the lasagna last night and um, Jamie's going to have that with some pasta. Eliza's going to have three chicken dippers with some veg and maybe some pasta as well just on the side. Um, so it's just a kind of whatever we have in kind of meal. I think there's some leftover tomato and cheese pasta in the fridge but just a little bit so I might have that because I'm not even too hungry. But I will show you um, everything when it's all plated up as always. This is ours. I just put um, some more peas in it, and there was enough for two portions a big one for Jamie and a wee one for me, just because I'm not really that hungry. So that is what we're having for dinner tonight. It's Friday night and we are having a child's free night so we have treated ourselves to a Ben and Sue um, this is a Chinese near to us and it's just the best Chinese ever we have loads of stuff that we can have leftovers tomorrow so we've got some chicken wings um, some this duck with a plum sauce which is my favourite dish ever it's absolutely amazing the duck is such good quality we got a chow mein we've got some sides of like rice and chips. We've got some hakka beef, some spring rolls, some salt and chilli chicken and some curry sauce gravy and some satay sauce I think that is or curry can't remember and we will have some prawn crackers and they also do ice cream as well and we just can't wait to dig into this. So so yummy. And here it is all plated up. Um, so if you're near Glasgow, you definitely have to check out Penisoo. It's amazing.